just because you have a family, do you need a bigger car or can you just get around in a hatchback? Who says you need to upsize just because you've got kids in the back? To test this theory out, I drove my family of four around for a whole week in a Hyundai i30 GO. It's the entry level model in petrol version. And you know, some entry level models can feel really cheap on the inside. You can usually tell from the fabric on the seats how much the car costs, but this i30 does not. The interiors are well designed, the dash is good, the centre console is clearly set out, it's not a mishmash of buttons, and even though the seats are fabric, they're not that super budget cheap fabric. I don't feel like I'm stuck in some low rent budget car with itchy cheap seats. These are good, I'm happy. The exterior of the car looks good too. It's little and cute and sporty and it just looks fun. If it were a celebrity, it would be Isla Fisher. She's everyone's best friend. There's something about jumping into a small car when you're used to driving around in big family-sized SUVs. You're kind of zipping around town like you're some kind of rock star, even though you're just in an i30. It feels really good and I've had fun this week. It's got a two litre engine, which is plenty of power to get me up hills fast. And the, while the steering is a little bit stiff, you do get used to it quite easily. And because it's such a small car, you're not really doing that many three point turns anyway. The turning circle is only 10.6. But did it fit the family? And I have to report that yes, yes it did. My husband is 185 centimetres and even he can sit in the driver's seat with plenty of leg room, even with the kids in the back. My daughters are four and six and they had enough room back here too. I mean, they weren't swinging their legs around, but they weren't squishy either. Just don't try and fit a third car seat in here. You will be disappointed. I did find that doing the kids seats up was tougher than in an SUV just because the i30 is lower. So if you really hate doing that, you'll notice it here. There are two cup holders in the front, but none in the back in this entry level model, but you do get some pockets on the back of the front seat. Plus there's a bottle holder in each door and you get your center storage bin. There are no rear air vents in the back though, but it's a small car and I found the airflow was plenty for rear passengers. The boot has plenty of room for a full grocery shop and it easily fit a pram in here, which is something that some small SUVs can't do. So unless you've got gangly teenagers who each have two different kinds of sporting equipment, you should be right. It's all about what stage of family life you're at. Plus the seats go down, so if you want to transport anything around, you can. The tech is pretty good for a car this price. There's an eight inch multimedia screen, which is big for a hatchback. Plus it comes standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you just plug your phone in and you're instantly connected to the main apps on your phone, like Spotify and Maps, which is good because this model does not come with an inbuilt sat nav, but then with this technology, you don't need one. It's got a decent radio and Bluetooth connectivity. Parking is so easy in this car because it is little. Honestly, I fit in parking spaces this week that I haven't fit into in years. It's kind of like dropping a dress size. It feels so good. The reverse parking camera helps you navigate behind you and makes the whole experience not stressful at all. Safety is covered with airbags for driver and front passenger, plus side curtain airbags extending to the back row. And there are two isofix points and three top tethers for children's car seats. However, it is lacking the newer safety features like auto emergency braking, blind spot monitoring and lane departure alerts. To get those, you'll actually have to go up two models to the middle of the range elites. I was quite surprised with how well the i30 fit my family and it made me wonder, have we all been spoilt with SUVs? Because if you've got a small family, this is pretty much all you need. Sure, you're lacking that general feeling of space and the luxury that comes with that, but the i30 does work if you need it to. It's an affordable car that fits into tiny parking spaces. I think we may have all let that go far too easily. I gave it seven and a half stars out of 10 because sure, you can get bigger cars. The question is, do you need to?
If you like this video and want to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel.